Next delegation, David Graham. All right, Madam Mayor, members of council, it seems once again history is repeating itself. On January 15, 1990, the federal government gutted passenger service in Canada, cutting via service by 55%. Via service in Guelph was reduced from 10 trains a day to just four. Three years later, in 1993, the cash-strapped provincial government canceled GO train service to Barrie and to Guelph. Around that time, the former Lafarge property was the subject of a development application. Later, in 2001, a friend of mine snapped this photograph of their application notice on that property. It reads, in part, uh, the applicant proposes to subdivide the lands for corporate offices, ancillary commercial, high-density residential office, service commercial, business park, and potential GO transit station, among other things. These plans eventually quietly died, but times have changed, and now a new developer wants to work with this plot of land. It is my hope that the community and the developer can work together to address the issues I and the other delegations here tonight will address. I want to talk to you uh, today about a few key considerations when debating the application before you. Primarily, I wish to express my hope that a portion of the former Lafarge property can be set aside for a park and ride train station, a theme that transcends all aspects of my presentation. Coupled with a looming transit hub, no commuter and no traveler, yeah, and no commuter no traveler will be left behind as GO trains, BUD cars, self-propelled passenger coaches, and light rail transit systems slowly begin to dominate our regional transit network, the arrival of which I will briefly touch on. I plan to suggest alternatives to the current development proposal that will be beneficial to both Guelph and the developers of this land. GO Transit restored GO train service to Barrie in December of 2007 after a 14-year hiatus, providing four trains each way for what GO anticipated to be 150 passengers. On its first day of operations, 280 cars were counted by local residents in the GO station parking lot. Just prior to that event, GO Transit's board of directors voted in favour of in, starting an environmental assessment to return GO train service to Guelph and beyond. The province, meanwhile, is changing the rules on environmental assessments for transit projects to cap them at six months, expected to be law by June, meaning we could have GO train service to Guelph very soon. Seen here in a photo we took just one week ago, the former Lafarge property, ironically called Silver Creek Junction, by a developer that, for the moment, sees the rail lines as a liability rather than as an asset, exists next to the junction of three highways, 6, 24, and 7, and two railway lines, the North Main Line connecting Toronto to London via Georgetown, and a branch line connecting Guelph to Cambridge. With Guelph proposing to turn the Via and Greyhound stations downtown into a multimodal transit hub next year, Commuter train passenger parking will be reduced from the approximately 50 parking spots that now exist in VIA's ever-flowing lot with the one rush hour VIA train we have to zero parking spaces. A transit hub with no available parking will have a very limited effect on the majority of our suburban commuters. The former Lafarge property, a 22 hectare piece of land at this prime accessible location, will be required for Guelph's much needed park and ride railway station. The developer's proposal for a park between the creek and the rail junction is sensible. There isn't a whole lot else that can be done with this particular plot of land, as if it is set aside as a floodplain. I would, however, request that an allowance be made for a platform capable of accommodating a 12-car GO train along the tracks on the north side of the property. Room should also be left for a smaller platform connecting, it, connecting to it along the track on the south side of the land. Both platforms should be planned to be two-track platforms. The access between the two tracks on each platform could also potentially solve the problem of park users safely crossing the tracks. My real concern is quite simple. If we do not save a portion of the Lafarge lands for a GO station, Guelph will either be deprived of a park and ride station altogether, forcing drivers to travel either to Acton or Breslau to board the commuter trains, or more likely to just hop on the 401 and go to work by car, or one will be built at an inconvenient or highly unpopular location. A quick look at the map shows one other location large enough for a substantial parking lot that is near both the three highways and the north main line within the city of Guelph. But I'm quite certain there would be a revolution if Margaret Green Park were to be converted into Margaret Green parking lot. <laughs> it would be a tragedy to flatten and pave a greenfield when a brownfield had been available. Alternatives such as the West End Recreational Centre are neither close to highways nor home to anywhere near sufficient parking for a commuter train station, with just 300 parking spaces available. 
Other options would, involve, would likely involve building a station in the area between Watson Road and Jones Baseline, diverting all the Hanlon Go commuter traffic through downtown and out the east end of the city, a trek that would likely keep a good number of commuters merely traveling the 401. It is these drivers heading for the 401 to whom we need to give a reason to turn around and take the train. It is important to note two other developments in rail transit in our immediate area. The first is Waterloo Region's push for an internal light rail transit line, which I recently suggested we lobby for Guelph to connect to. The second is the North Main Line Municipal Alliance's 2006 business case study showing the economics of building intercity rail service using self-propelled bud cars along the North Main Line. The park and ride station I am proposing would be a valuable asset for that intercity service for the same reason as it would be important to go service. Parking would be available and people traveling in all directions, not only toward Toronto, would be able to make use of such a station. The construction of such a railway station in no way precludes Silver Creek Guelph Developments Limited or any other developer from developing this land. A park and ride station would require only a portion of it. Nobody should expect the developers of this property to make any concessions out of the kindness of their hearts. In order to change their minds and their plans, they have to be shown something that is better for them as well as for the community. The province's places to grow legislation demands that we increase our population to nearly unsustainable levels with intensified residential development. Targeting the Lafarge property for high-rise condos marketed primarily to commuters who want to walk to work in other cities from Guelph via the train would be both lucrative for the developers and beneficial to the community. These developers, or, sorry, these commuters are coming to Guelph regardless, giving them a place to live where they can exit the city every morning without compounding our traffic problems rather than pushing them to ever further suburbs would strike me as being at least somewhat intuitive and also lead, lends well to the much touted principle of a walkable community. To that end, a commercial strip could also be built as part of the development to accommodate every commuter's dream, a coffee shop between home and the train station, perhaps under an oak tree. <laughs> um, we are the ones on the ground here in Guelph and we must prepare the groundwork for the arrival of our transit future. It is imperative that we take the initiative and take advantage of the transit expansion around us to help Guelph become a better connected city of the future. As clearly seen on this plan proposed by the developer, with the North Main Line bordering along the length of the property on the north side and a secondary railway line along the length of the property on the south side, we have a significant opportunity here and now to make these needed preparations. I trust you as members of council, the stewards of our community, to continue working towards this goal. At the end of the day, GO trains will be passing by this property and we will not be able to stick out our thumbs and ask for a ride. I strongly recommend that the current planning application for Silver Creek Junction be improved prior to its acceptance by the city to accommodate this reality. The developers have shown some interest in doing what is right with their effort to create a market square and to save the property's oak tree. I look forward to the improvements they will make based on what they're hearing here tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, yes, Councillor Bell. Through you, Your Worship, um, why do you feel that the junction area would be more appropriate for a GO station rather than downtown? Um, for the simple reason that you won't fit more than a couple of cars at the downtown station. Um, as next year we're proposing to take out the uh, transit hub across the street here, and that's going to take the 50 spots we have to zero. And the commuters, that's, that lot is full every day as it is, and we don't have GO trains yet, and it's all got one commuter train. so. Um, We'll need something that can accommodate a, a rather substantial parking lot for all these commuters. And I think that's, that's the reason. Any other questions? Thank you very much. And will we be able to have a, a copy of your presentation? Of course. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay.